Hi, I'm Carrie Adams, and I'm here giving my testimony with Lawless America. I want to share that uh, my concerns here were um, my experience in circuit courts of Cook County in Chicago, Illinois, and uh, the, the individual that I had been married to was an Arthur M. Adams III, and we were married in 19, 9, 1982, October 1982. I have two adult children now. Uh, my son was born in 1991 and my daughter in 1993. I was a full-time homemaker. I had once previous worked in the field of special, special education. I am a victim of divorce court corruption, attorney misconduct, government official corruption. And in 1999, <clears throat> the status of my own uh, wellness or health, um, I had experienced uh, postpartum depression after my, uh, my kids. And so I was actually being treated for severe depression. And it got to the point where I was um, very much incapacitated. And in this testimony, I'm just going to share a little bit about that experience and, and how unconscionable it was for my ex to even do a filing of divorce, especially with my incapacitation, um, because he also then uh, did a filing and then also had me placed into nursing care uh, out of my community and at a distance from my community. And I had been told from various parties that I was to never be seen again. So my ex did this filing and uh, at some point three years into the actual uh, initial filing of the divorce, I only, um, I, I remained in that uh, facility less than a year, and I was uh, discharged from there from a wonderful doctor, Richard Bondgard, um, who was very exceptional and was very patient, very, um, very kind, and, and uh, certainly had listened to my circumstance and had, in his own opinion, thought that I certainly was not uh, a person that should be then a full-time resident in that kind of a facility. So it was that doctor to actually safely, 100 percent, um, detox me from all of the poisonous medications that I had been on. Uh, that medication had caused hallucinations, it had caused delusions, uh, on both auditory, visual. Uh, it certainly had changed my personality. Uh, I had uh, never been a, a heavy person. In fact, I've been a very athletic person. And when it came to being a patient and given specifically those meds, I had gained over 100 something pounds. And uh, I have a small body frame and this was certainly um, almost being trapped in one's body. It was a horrible, horrible experience. And so, um, and, and again, to trust my husband, uh, who I think is then, of course, providing the best uh, care, concern, and support, being a spouse, uh, and that his wife is uh, suffering from um, the baby blues. But the baby blues, or depression, had truly uh, kind of ran completely out of control and certainly was detriment to my life and very much detriment to uh, my capacity to function. Uh, most times I could not talk, I could not do uh, just everyday tasks in my home. Uh, and this was really because of uh, the, the, the effects of uh, these psychotropic meds. Uh, they're very dangerous. And so, um, meanwhile, uh, well, things got a little bit more difficult for him to handle me at home. Uh, he then decides to file for a divorce. And I myself personally have no recall to attending 
the file of a dissolution of a divorce with Arthur M. Adams. My uh, now documents that I have obtained from uh, the courts uh, actually uh, would be impossible to be there um, involved in the filing. However, if I was there, most of what was being discussed to the judge would have been very fictitious because I had already uh, records of actually now being uh, placed in a hospital unit. And so um, from my records, it indicates that I was going there with my ex and I was on a pass. So that's how he did this divorce. I do have evidence of that. And, um, and of course, that all involves uh, both property, uh, the children, relationship to the children, um, and of course, everything that one dissolves when there is, um, they're agreeable and, and they're, um, they're divorced that they, uh, what's the word? It starts with, an, yeah, irreconcilable. Irreconcilable. Yeah. So, uh, nothing was irreconcilable because it certainly was, uh, you're not dealing with, there was not a healthy person uh, at that point. And so, um, you know, it, it, it changes the real process of law, in my opinion. Um, my ex-spouse had discarded me, discarded me like I was trash, never having any more to do with me, but specifically everything manipulated to, a lot, to his, manipulated to live a new life. I, I'd much rather describe his conduct as living a double life. Our divorce, Yes, in 1999, um, uh, I, I question what law permits anyone to dissolve a marriage and accept the circumstance as irreconcilable differences when an unconscionable motive is not explained or defined to a judge. Since this was his plan, he filed for the divorce and I was being, seen, being sent to a facility I did not have any property for my own home, not a car, kitchen appliances, bank account, absolutely no division of assets from a 19-year marriage. Having the divorce filed in an untruthful manner was not known then, but had clearly become obvious as I obtained a copy of, uh, of many, many uh, court scripts. I have faced um, situations of uh, visitation schedule, which I had commuted from my location in Bradley, Illinois, which is 45 minutes from where my children's residence is. And I did visit my kids for three years from Bradley, Illinois to Palos Heights, Illinois. Um, but. I also was encouraged by Geraldine Berger, who is the GAL for my children, uh, to, um, to relocate. So in 2003, I relocate from Bradley to um, Elsip, Illinois. And that is when I was actually thrilled to be uh, living now closer. I wouldn't... Uh, um, I could save on gas costs and, and stuff, and I uh, was looking forward to just living near my kids. However, that's where a lot of the now governmental, government official corruption uh, started, as well as the government official misconduct, and the most, uh, and, and very random uh, incidences with both Palos Heights Police and Palos Park Police Departments. Can I stop? Yeah, well, we're gonna edit this, so we can Yeah, this. yeah, I'm, I'm getting soaked a little bit. I need to get some. You want to I, need to, I need to get uh, a little water. Water. 